Alright, ready? Come here. You made work. Huh? Do you remember this? Off. Good girl. Good girl. We're just charging up the clicker a little bit. Good girl. So she remembers that when she hears the click, she gets a treat. Good girl. I gotta be quick because uh, the video goes too long and I can't download on YouTube. Alright, so remember, um, training video is short and sweet. And no matter what, I always do one trick three times. And then I switch to something else to keep it fun for them. And you want to teach your puppy to lure. You know, so you want them to follow your hand with a treat. And you also want to make sure that you switch hands a lot. So they're not always watching your right hand. You want them to watch your left hand too. Come here. Good girl. Okay. And then to get them to sit, I just get the treat by their nose and push it back. Yeah, it's good girl. It usually pushes them right back into spot. Stand up. By their nose, push back. Yes. We did that one training session yesterday, just one for, you know, with a video that I couldn't download, and she's already catching on. Sit. Yes. Good girl. And to get them to go down, I usually take the treat and I kind of cup it under my hand a little bit. Come here. Come here. Come here, Harmony. Sit. Yes. Good girl. I cup it under, and then I just roll it down. Yes, good girl. And then I leave the treat on the ground so they have to stay in the down position. I want to do it two more times, because like I say, I always try to do tricks three times. Sit. Yes. Down. And I didn't click for her doing the sit because that's not the trick I wanted. Um, but it was a step. And two, one other thing I'm doing really, really wrong right now is I'm teaching down right after sit. And I normally recommend you don't do that because then if you're out doing stuff with the dogs and you tell them to sit, then the very next reaction is to go right down. So, um, but I already messed that up. So it's okay because these guys are resilient right now. Um, nothing sticks in their head for too long. The skill will as far as, you know, sitting down and laying down. But the order in which you do it, they're really forgiving right now. Um, you know, so nothing's set in stone, so I can um, fix that. And then we're going to get her out here, and we're going to teach her to spin. Spin. Yes, good girl. <laughs> Come on, get up. Spin. Yes, good girl. Spin. Yes, good girl. And then she also wants to shake. She's giving me her paw a lot, so we're going to use that. This sometimes can be a little trickier. Here, so I got the treat by my clicker. Yeah. No, no, ah, no bite. Give me your paw. Here. How many? How many? Come here. Give me your paw. Yes, good girl. And I just I just pick it up. I don't grab it because if you grab their paw, then they just have a tendency to pull back. I mean, if somebody grabs your arm, and that reaction is to pull back. So I just pick it up. And, um... Yes! Yeah, she's being kind of goofy, but I'm going to give it to her anyways because she did give me her paw. And like I say, these guys get really excited easy. Um, yes. Yes. Good girl. Um, don't ever get frustrated. If you feel you are getting frustrated because they're being a little pain in the butts, then um, end on a good note. Yes. Good girl. Um, ending on a good note means that, um, let's say you're trying to get them to do something and they're just being a little pain in the butt, um, but you know they know how to sit. So you're frustrated and you're done. Um, put them on a sit, treat them, and then be done with the training session. Give it a couple hours and come back. Like I say, we don't never want them to get frustrated or you because they can tell when you're frustrated and then they start to shut down because they can't figure out why they can't make you happy. 
So always, always make the training sessions fun, short, and sweet. And like I say, you can train more than one trick at a time, but try to use the rule that for each trick you do it three times and you move on to the next. Um, roll over right now is uh, the best time to teach them is at this age. Get out of my, she, she smells a treat in my, my um, pocket. Because they're so, I mean, you can manipulate them so well. So you just get them to go down and then you keep the treat and you get them right by their nose and get them to flip. Yes, good girl. Good girl. Yeah, that was a, it's right here. That was a good girl. But like I say, roll over right at this age is the perfect time to teach it because they're just so flexible. All right, sit. Down, down, and I'm going to give her the treat for that. And then I'm going to get her a little roll, and I'm going to put the treat in front of her. I'm going to turn her neck to get it to go up over her back. Yes, good girl. And just get her to roll over. Ah, lots of belly rubs, so they're used to being on their bellies or on their backs. Ah, play with their feet. Play with their feet. Give them belly rubs. Good girl. Let's do it again. Come here. Get your nose out of my pocket. Come here. Sit. Yes. Down. Yes. Good girl. And then I, I try to do it both ways so they don't get in the habit of doing one way or another. Right here. Right here. Down. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Alright. Sit. Yes, down. Good girl. Okay, and then whatever way their body's kind of leaning the most. Yes, good girl. Once in a while, too, if they're like teetering on the edge, I'll take them and roll them a little bit, help them with my hand. <laughs> and then right now, too, you can get them and, and play the little belly game and go, oh, roll over, oh, roll over. <laughs> Run over! <laughs> yes. Like I say, they're so good. And don't let them bite you. Mouthing is bad. Ah, ah. She actually knows better. As you can see, she stopped. But if you let them mouth, even though it's cute, ah, ah, it, it gives them permission that they can bite you whenever they want. Um, sometimes these guys are really hard to get them to stop biting because they're a herding breed. 